Angels. I'm so excited that you're here for yoga today. We are going on another adventure. It is so amazing all the places that we can go in the world. And can you guess where we're going today from looking at the pictures behind me? I bet some of you guessed Egypt and you're right. Look at all the wonderful things that are in Egypt. You might look up at this picture and you might have thought of a sphinx. You might have looked over at this picture and thought of the eagle. And they have these funny cats over here that are called Egyptian hairless cats. And they look kind of funny because you can actually see their skin. And then right behind me is probably the most famous animal that you guys remember, and that's the camel. And can anybody guess what this animal is up here? That is a jerboa. And they are little tiny like mice, but have great big behind legs and great big ears. All right, who's ready to do some yoga with these famous animals and places in Egypt? We're going to start with a little bit of a warm up breath. So sit up nice and tall. Raise your shoulders up and then let them drop all the way down. And we're going to pretend using our breath that we are climbing up the steps to a pyramid in Egypt. So we're going to sip in some air. And then when we get to the very top, we're going to let all that air slide right out. And it's going to look a little bit like this. Okay, join me and let's do that two more times. Ready? And we're going to do it one more time, but we're going to pause at the top and pretend like we're looking out over the plains of Egypt and see one beautiful thing. Here we go. Look around. So what did you see when you looked around Egypt? Me? I saw some huge pyramids and some beautiful palm trees and a great big shining sun way across the horizon. I bet Egypt is a super beautiful place. Well, let's warm up our bodies with a sphinx flow. So everybody lay down on your belly. Bring your hands right out in front of you. And keep your palms flat on the floor and lift up your chest nice and high and see if you can suck your belly button right up off the floor. This is Sphinx Pose. And then from Sphinx Pose, we're going to push up and come back down. One more time, push up and come back down. And then come up on hands and knees. Take a couple of cat and cows. Breathing in, breathing out. You can meow and moo if that makes you feel really good. And then push all the way back to child's pose. Tuck your toes, come into your high plank. Nice and long, bellies tucked in booties down, and lower all the way down to the floor for three cobra hisses. And back to Sphinx Pose. Arms out in front, chest lifted high. And let's do that two more times. Here we go. Sphinx pose, push up and down. And walk your hands up 
Take three cat and cows. One, two, three. Push all the way back for a child's pose just for a minute. Tuck your toes, high plank, lower all the way down. Three cobra hisses. Last time, bring those arms back out in front, Sphinx pose, and push up high and lower down. Walk your hands in, take three cat and cows. Mm -hmm. Meow. Mm -hmm. Meow. Last one, make it a good move. Mm -hmm. Tuck your toes, come into that nice long high plank. Lower all the way down, three cobra hisses. S and then bring your hands down and rest your head on your arms for just a minute. Turn your head one way. And then turn your head the other way. And come all the way up to sitting. Nice job. That was a great warm up. How's everybody feeling? Are you feeling pretty good? All right. Well, let's get moving with some of the animals that we know about, that we just talked about. Um, so we're gonna talk about, um, we're gonna make up a pose for the jerboa, um, for the Egyptian cat, for a crocodile, you can't see him very good, he's a little bit hidden up there, you can see his arm. Um, they also have donkeys in Egypt, and they use, they're used to carry um, supplies all over town. And then we're gonna do a palm tree pose because they have lots of palm trees. And then we'll end with our camel and our eagle pose. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with our jerboa pose. So we're gonna come into our child's pose. Bring your arms way out in front of you and then see if you can bend them back and touch the back of your head. And come up on hands and knees. Here's that Egyptian cat pose. One arm out, opposite arm, opposite leg, and switch. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and switch. Now this time we're gonna make it a little bit harder. Reach out, stick that cat tail up. See if you can reach around and scratch your tail. And come back to the middle. That's a really hard balance pose. So do your best. Find one thing to look at that's not wiggling and see if you can reach back and grab that other foot. And come right back to the middle. And hands down. And then bring one leg up right beside your hand. Crocodile pose. And lift that back leg. Be nice and long. Get a little bounce here because we're going to switch our feet. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, switch. Good job. And step back down, dog. Three donkey kicks. One, two, three. And come all the way up to that palm tree pose. Find where you can be nice and steady. Your foot might be on the floor, might be on the calf, might be up really high, but you have to decide where you can balance best at. And step over to the side, try tree pose on the other side, maybe be 
Do some big circles with your arms. And come to both feet together. Now we're ready for our eagle pose. So bring your arms way out wide. Cross at the elbows and see if you can bring the backs of your hands together. If this doesn't feel good, you can give yourselves a great big hug. And then cross one foot over and it might actually rest on the floor and sit down like you're sitting in a chair. And then big wings and wrap your arms again, different elbow on top, opposite leg all the way over, sit down like you're in a chair and let those arms fly all the way up and fold all the way over and step back to your knees. And then come up on those knees nice and high, bring those hands all the way around to your back, arch your back really tall and make a big hump like a camel. And if it's okay, look up at the ceiling. Bring those arms all the way up, fold all the way over. And use those tummy muscles, come all the way back up on your knees, hands right behind you. Now this time, tuck your toes, make that big arch with your back. And if it feels good, you can reach for those heels. Bring those arms all the way up and fold all the way over. All right, we're gonna do that through two more times, this time a little bit faster. And then on the last time, I'm gonna see if you can remember the poses that we've done. Are we ready? All right, let's go. Here we go, Jerboa pose. Hands and knees. Egyptian cat pose and maybe reach for your toe. And the other side and reach for your toe. Knees down, come into that crocodile. One foot forward, lift that back knee. Get a little bounce, here you go, switch. And step back, down dog, donkey pose with three donkey kicks. One, two, three, forward fall. Come all the way up, find your palm tree pose. And palm tree on the other side. And plant both feet, wrap your arms, really tight eagle pose. One leg up and over. Let that eagle fly, switch arms. Other leg over. Let that eagle fly, fall all the way down to the ground, come to your knees. Big arch up, camel pose. All right, last time through. Who remembers the names of this pose? If you said Jerboa pose, you're right. And our next pose is, you're right, skinless cat pose, Egyptian cats. And other side. And after the cats came the crocodile, you're right. And switch feet and step back. Donkey pose. Good job remembering. Three donkey kicks. One, two, three. And come all the way up. 
What's the next pose? Eagle pose, wrap those arms all the way over, sit down, let your eagle fly, opposite arms, wrap that leg over, let that eagle fly, forward fold, last pose, I bet everybody remembers that last pose, it is Camel pose, bring those arms behind you, big arch up. And rest all the way down. Woo, that was awesome, boys and girls. That was a lot of yoga poses. That's pretty exciting. All right, well, after that, I think we deserve a rest. So I want everybody to come and lay down on your belly. And as you're getting on your belly, I'm gonna put a different picture on my screen. Because back in the old days of Egypt, they, made mummies out of their kings and queens. And they sent them into the pyramids, wrapped up nice and tight and safe. And they gave them all of their favorite things to take with them when they died. So we're gonna do a little meditation that has to do with our favorite things. So if you have a blanket and you want to cover up or wrap up like a mummy, or if you want to roll up in your mat, you can grab your mat, lay sideways on your mat, grab the edge of your mat and roll all the way over, just like a little yoga burrito. You decide, or you can just come to lay flat on your back. So yoga burrito wrapped up in a blanket or laying flat on your mat. And just, let all our exercise go. Take a couple little breaths here, just noticing your breath. Maybe your heart was beating a little bit faster and now it's starting to slow down. And imagine that you are a king or a queen of Egypt. And you're getting ready to go into your pyramid. You're all wrapped up like a mummy. And you get to take your favorite things with you. What would they be? Maybe it's a favorite toy. Maybe it's a favorite book. Maybe it's a favorite blanket. I want you to think of three things that you would take with you inside the pyramid to remind you of your home. And see if in your mind you can make a picture of each one of those things that you would take with you. And take a deep breath in and sigh it out. And this time, take a deep breath in and bring your arms over your head and point your toes and sigh it out as you hug your knees into your chest. Another deep breath in. And take a rock and roll, let that breath out. And come all the way up to sitting. So, did you guys think of three things that you would take with you? I sure did. I would most definitely take a picture of my family. And next, I would take 
my favorite book with me. And last but not least, I would take my knitting needles with me and some yarn so that I would have something to do inside that big pyramid all by myself. So maybe you can share with your family what you would take to um, the pyramid with you. So we're going to do one more activity before we close. I just wanted to do Shavasana because this activity is something that you may want to keep doing um, after our yoga class is over. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And in Egypt, a long time ago, they used hieroglyphics to do their writing with. And I'm going to show you this chart down here and come back to this chart in just a minute. So this will be on our website and you can pull it up. And what they did is each letter was represented by a picture. And so when they were writing their words, they looked like pictures and those were called cartouches. So I made my name in the different hieroglyphic symbols. So my name is Jan and J is the picture of a snake. A is the picture of a bird, and N is the picture of a mountain. So you can take a piece of paper and you can write out the letters of your name, and underneath of them, you can put the symbols just like I did. And then you can practice the pose. So for my name, we could do Cobra Pose. And then we could do eagle pose. We practiced that today. So we could do eagle pose. And then we could finish with mountain pose. So there you guys go. There's a fun activity for your afternoon. I hope you'll check it out. Bring your hands right to your heart and let's finish with our namaste song. My little light bows to your little light, your little light, your little light. My little light bows to your little light. Namaste. Hope to see you soon. Happy travels. <laughs>